morning. It is Saturday morning today. It's the day of the wedding and I left our home at 7. It's 7.30 right now. Uh, but first I went to the studio to pick up a few blankets which we can use as picnic blankets and just some few things that we can use during our shoot which are fun. I'm wearing my jumpsuit today with my sketchers um, and I have my blazer right next to me. Um, it's gonna be I think 25 degrees today with some sun, so it's actually quite warm. Um, yeah, it's super quiet on the road right now. And yeah, it's about an hour and a half drive to go to the place where the bride and groom are getting dressed. And from there, it's an hour to the location where we are celebrating, but it's actually already on the way home. So when I am finished tonight, it's only like half an hour or 45 minutes to actually go back home. So for now, it's quite a long drive. Yes, I have to clean my window. But anyway, it's very quiet on the road. No one here. I'm here. So it's quarter to nine. I finished my smoothie. I finished my coffee. I'm on time, so I'm gonna unpack. Uh, later I'll show you the snacks that I brought and stuff. I'm going in. This is me with my full outfits. Are you excited? Yes, very much. <laughs> Looking forward. Of course. Start. I'm just gonna place it somewhere where I can see both of you. So pretty. Look 
we're going there. So this is like some kind of restaurants, and here I should meet the bride and groom in a second. It's a little bit overcast right now, which is actually quite nice. Like you have really soft light. It's like the whole sky is one big soft box. Um, yeah, you cannot really play with the sun, like shittering. <laughs> like you cannot really play with the sun, like sparkling through the trees because there's no sun right now. But you're also not placing the bride and groom in the sun. You won't have any harsh shadows, uh, squinted eyes. So it being overcast is actually not a big problem. It makes the light really soft and it makes it very easy to take beautiful photos when you have uh, a lot of sun and it's midday right now the sun will be up really high and you really have to look for like places where there's shade and um, now we can just take photos everywhere anywhere because um, it's overcast so we have the perfect soft light just waiting for the bride and groom to come I have another full frame camera in my back with my 50 millimeter prime lens this is a 24 70 millimeter lens aperture 2.8 this is the d750 i have the d610 in my backpack and i have another speed light i'm not using a speed light today i might use like a reflection screen um or we'll just go like this pure and natural just waiting for the bride and groom so yes i have wet socks So beautiful. The bride and groom, they don't have kids, uh, but like two nieces, I think, will come uh, the last 20 minutes of the shoot uh, and they will join in uh, during the photo session. So they will join during the photo session, so that's great, uh, two girls. So that's it I just finished uh, photographing the wedding I'm gonna head home now I think it's like 45 minutes drive and then I'm home uh, such a lovely couple the whole atmosphere was so relaxed so whenever I'm actually at a wedding I love it so much and I wish I could do it every day but it's sometimes the weeks before that I get a little bit anxious because I feel like um, nothing can happen to me in those way weeks before a wedding like if I break my wrists if my car breaks down on the way to the wedding I'm in trouble because those people are counting on me and they're waiting for me so like the it's not the weeks before the wedding but just a little bit like the days before the wedding I could get a little bit anxious and I feel like I'm not gonna shoot weddings anymore I'm just gonna do newborns in the studio uh, but then I'm actually at a wedding and everybody's so lovely and kind and nice and um, then I just love it and I wish I could do it every day so <laughs> I'm not doing as many weddings as I did last year and I'm still debating whether I'm gonna do a lot of weddings next year but today was awesome I loved it so much and yes I could have a like a backup photographer um, but it's kind of hard to find someone who offers 
uh, the same style of photos, the same quality for the same kind of price and who can be your backup. So who is not planning anything on the days that you have wedding so that if anything happens to you, he or she can jump in for you. I mean, where are you going to find that perfect backup photographer? So yes, I never get sick. I never broke anything uh, in my life. Our car doesn't break down usually. So there shouldn't be a problem, but you never know. So yeah, I love shooting weddings. My jumpsuit worked really well. I actually got a compliment for the way I dressed from like a guest because she had like, some experiences with wedding photographers who wore like ripped jeans. And so she thought I looked really lovely and professional. Uh, so that's really nice. I did get one bug who entered <laughs> in here. I was close to a bathroom and the bride and groom were just uh, eating their like, cake. So I could go to the bathroom and get the bug out. Um, so yeah, it's quite hard to get something out if it flies in because it's not like a dress where you can just shake the dress. But anyway, I'm gonna leave. Thank you so much for watching.